Hi, I'm Cameron Gonzalez, a 2014 orientation leader. Our staff is so excited that you're interested in applying to BNOL. This is a very complex but rewarding job that is highly respected by students and faculty across campus. By being an orientation leader, you learn a lot about yourself, about working with others, and of course, about Sanford. You are the first people that they really, you know, see on campus, really have the opportunity to know. Um, and that's just like a big responsibility in itself, but it's a great opportunity to kind of plant the seeds to relationships that can blossom later on in the school year. I was an orientation leader for two summers at Sanford, and it was without question the most valuable experience that I had during my time here. I learned more about myself, about how to be a leader, about how to be a servant, about how to be a servant leader, um, all of these things that I ever had in my entire life. And to be honest, more than that I have in any experience since. Before I joined the orientation team, I wasn't really growing. As soon as I joined the team, I was surrounded by people that were anything but complacent, and they definitely rubbed off on me. Being professional is a huge part of being an orientation leader. I've learned how to act in an office setting and send emails, um, but also continue to be myself and who I am. Most think the role begins in the summer, but it actually begins right when we receive um, notice that we are going to be the orientation leaders. Throughout the spring term, we have meetings and we, we begin planning. One of my favorite parts about this job were the actual orientation sessions themselves. You know, we'd wake up at 4.30 or 5 a.m. and wouldn't get back to the, our apartments till 11 or 11.30. And it's just a full day of high energy, a lot of things that are fast paced, you're multitasking. Summer Adventure was probably one of the things I was most afraid of for orientation. I'm not exactly the most outdoorsy, so it's a little out of my comfort zone, but I really did have a blast. It was just a great chance to get to know freshmen on a more personal level, to get to know them throughout the entire weekend versus just two days of orientation. One of the best parts about being an orientation leader um, was definitely being able to live together and work together at the same time. So when we got done at the office, we would also go back together, and so sometimes we would cook Mexican, or sometimes we would do breakfast. We just have a great time no matter what we're doing. You're with these people all the time, and in a lot of cases that can be a negative thing, you know, it kind of wears down, you get tired of them, whatever, but um, our group was really, really tight-knit and close. One of the coolest parts that I found this summer was just getting to know Sanford and the admission staff on a more intentional level. Um, you really got to see Sanford in a different light when no one's here. We've gotten to have dinner with the Dean of Admission at his house um, and get to know the Vice Presidents of Sanford a lot more. I think that being an orientation leader has been the experience of a lifetime. You should apply to be an orientation leader because you can actually make a difference. If you want to give back while also being poured into, this is without question the job for you. Orientation was where I first felt like Sanford was home, and so now it's been so rewarding being able to help new students feel the same way about Sanford. I think we've all grown so much through Sanford and know how much Sanford has meant to us and it's really neat to be able to share that with incoming students that are just at the beginning of their Sanford journeys. So whether you're an extrovert or introvert, Greek or independent, a marketing major or future nurse, it takes all types to create the ideal team of orientation leaders. Take the time to apply today. You never know what could happen.